Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, today I wanted to show you a little something special that I've been working on for a while. It's this little pet project of mine. It's, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of them here. Uh, these little robots. Um, so, if you've ever gotten a Lego set, which I, I will assume every one of you has, uh, you'll have finished your set and then notice that there's a whole bunch of all these little pieces left over. And you, sometimes you got to figure out, oh, did I, did I miss something? You got to go back through everything. But, but typically, you're going to have a whole bunch of extras. And the reason why you end up with these extras is because when they are loading the bags, uh, they do it electronically. It is an automated system. They've got parts hoppers, and the uh, machinery sends a bin around to collect those pieces, and the sets are checked by weight when they get sent out. Uh, and so all these little pieces are very small. They don't weigh very much. So you're inevitably, inevitably going to end up with extras. And sometimes they'll even, I, I, I'm just assuming here, uh, intentionally give you a couple extras, especially for stuff that's a little more uh, unique, especially like small printed tiles. Uh, you always end up with at least an extra of those. At least I find. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I, I get a lot of Legos. And I have a lot of those bags of spare pieces. And a while back, I wanted to just use them for something. And so I started making like accessories for, for minifigures, weaponry, gear, that sort of stuff. And while I was doing that, I was fiddling around and ended up just designing one of these little guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one of these was the first one. It was probably one of these guys. Uh, I have these up in my banner on my page. Uh, if you've been there, you probably saw those. Um, I, I just love these little guys. They're, they don't uh, connect to any studs, though. So that's a little bit of a problem, but it's fine. It really sells the whole little droid look. They're poseable. You know, the arms go up and down. Legs move. Stuff like that. Um, the neck, it's a little, a little loose, but you know, kind of charming, I, I suppose. Uh, the only problem is that these droids are built illegally. And what I mean by that is that there are several things in the Lego world, I'm sure plenty of you know, called uh, illegal building techniques. And the the majority of them are ones that use friction or otherwise put weird stress onto the pieces that could eventually lead to them breaking or cracking. And that's generally accepted as a no-no. Um, although it, you do end up seeing like some custom, you know, designs where they use them and that's kind of the only way to get the look they want to do. So it's forgivable, I, I suppose. I, I try to avoid using them. Um, but here we have a friction fit where the hips meet the torso and right there. So we've got the stud there. And the post of this hydraulic T-piece just goes right in there and it sits in there with friction. We also have up here with the neck, it's a friction fit. Now, it's not too bad. The, the biggest, the, the reason it's an issue is because this connection here is kind of difficult to find pieces that work together. Like you could have so many of these little guys here and so many of these and you put them together and okay that one works well if i grab a different one and try it oh no nope, doesn't work it does not work with the same exact pieces so it's a very hit and miss sort of situation. And that's kind of where I ended up. I got a whole bunch of parts to uh, make a whole bunch more. And I 
I ended up not being able to attach them together because you have to have a very specific one. And it's not even something you can determine yourself. It is you just have to keep trying and trying until you find the two that will stick together. And you end up with issues uh, like, I believe it's uh, this one here. See this one? This, they don't they don't fit very well. They're barely, barely friction in there. So you shake it, but I might let it out. Nope, falls right out. Uh, and the ones that work together do not always work together. So here's a demonstration. You got these two fit pretty well. And then you got this guy over here also fits quite well. If I put it into this torso, you get a really good, really good fit. But if I try to use the the ones that worked on the gray one into the white one, nope, they don't fit at all. It's very strange. They work together, like these ones work together, but for some reason this does not work with that one. It only works with that one. And it's very hit or miss, and you end up spending a lot of time trying to get these parts to work together. Um, and then you run out of ones that work together, and you can't make any more. And that was what I encountered. I got to a point where I've got a whole bunch of parts, none of them work together. Uh, one I really notice is that with these ones, you've got... Um, you got gray, you got blue, I had a couple red ones, and a couple white ones. I found that the, the white ones didn't really work with these very well. These, um, pearl gold. These ones didn't work with most of the ones I had. Uh, and then the red ones didn't work with any of them. Um, but I had a very small sample size, I only had three of them. Um, and like I said, it's very hit or miss. Um, I actually thought that none of these worked with any of my, my posts that I had until I was actually trying to find parts that worked here. And actually, boom, those ones work really well, actually. Um, I was very surprised because I thought these pearl gold ones didn't work. My, my assumption was that with some of the colors, um... They have black, gray, um, white ones, and these pearl gold. I do know there's kind of a dark red. I don't have any of those. There might be like one other color. I don't, I'm not sure. I haven't gotten the red ones yet. Um, but I, my assumption was that because with some of these other colors, they don't make them as often as they do. So in order to save on material, they made that, that diameter just smidgen smidgen of a bit not as wide which in the grand scope of things these are these are going to fit regardless and if you got like microns it's it's not going to be noticeable but over you know thousands hundreds of thousands really of parts they're making that micron is going to add up and they're going to save a lot of material and a lot of money so it makes sense and you know the uh the, the other assumption I made is that the, the internal diameter of these might have done the same thing. Um, because typically, when they use these, if they have any posts going through, they're just going to have it go all the way through, or at least stick into the front here. Because there's a... The, the inside of this part um, is it's like the actual diameter necessary. But with the ones... Sorry. In the... Uh, the diameter in the back isn't important for them to have the same uh, inner diameter because this is designed to go into a, uh, a hole and this ridge here keeps it in place. And it's not necessary to have the inner diameter the same over the course of So that was my assumption until just now when <laughs> I found out these, these work together like really, really well. Um, but I digress. Uh, I, I did run into that issue where I've got all these pieces and I can't put them together because they won't friction fit. And 
that's an illegal technique. And I was like, man, I really don't want to have to dip these into like Elmer's glue. That was what I was going to do. I was going to dip this post into Elmer's glue and let it dry so that the, <laughs> the glue would create a, a thicker shaft so that I could force a friction fit. And, man, I, I really don't like doing that. I mean, I've never tried it, but the idea of it is like, man, I, I really don't want to do this. Because um, I do know some people make minifigures. They'll pull off the arms and the hands and make different things. And you can make really cool combinations with that. But it doesn't sit right with me. Mainly because you're going to end up weakening those shoulder sockets, weakening the, the wrist attachments. Um, if you do it enough times and then you're going to be ruining that minifigure part. And sometimes you just end up with a, a minifigure that doesn't have any hands and you don't have spares to put on it. And you just, it's, it's useless. And I, I try to avoid that because I want to keep them intact. And I don't know, I, I, I suppose you'd call me like a purist basically, uh, cause they do have purist customs. Uh, but the, those people also switch out arms if they need to. But I'm like like a purist, purist. Um, <laughs> but so I had that issue where I couldn't make any more, and I had all these pieces to make them. I actually bought quite a few parts, um, all sorts of different colors. You got them, so many. Uh, like these, I use these for the feet, as you can see there. But they are also what connects the neck to the torso. There's one there and there's one there. Um, these come in all sorts of different colors. Um, you even have lavender. I wish there were other colors because I think this is all of them. Uh, except for, oh, there's some white. Except for the black ones. I don't have the black ones in here. I didn't buy those. I had a whole bunch of those. I think those are the most common color. Um, and then the head is made with this piece. And I've got a whole bunch of colors here. Um, I didn't, I don't have any, uh, the, the black or the gray in here because I had a bunch of those already. Didn't need to buy them. I don't know if there's white. I don't, I don't have any of these guys with white on them. And I'd have to look into that. I wish, I hope there's white because that'd be really cool to have. Um, and then these torso pieces right here, this kind of fills out the, the, the belly area. It's, it gives it a lot of, uh, kind of, I don't want to say girth, but it, it fills it out a little bit. You got a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, there's other colors than these. Um, and then I like using these little accents, like, I don't know, I got this one here. He's got, he's got the tan here and the yellow and the, he even has the, the light yellow, um, headpiece and you know it just gives them character you can make a whole bunch of different ones uh whole bunch oh, oh look like i was saying friction fit they don't always work <laughs> uh you know there's just massive amount of varieties as i've got a bunch of them here here um but yeah i had i have all these pieces and i can't make parts I, I can't use these parts to make more and i was like man what am I going to do? Like, I, I got so excited to make more of these guys. because I wanted to make as many as I could, different combinations. Um, and so I just came down and I was just messing around with all the parts. And I kind of oopsed into a redesign of these guys. I, I was originally just kind of putting on stuff and, and thinking like, okay, so these are... These are like labor droids. They're load lifters, cargo haulers. Well, why wouldn't they have like these little little carts, like robotic dog cart kind of things to go along with them, like pallet jacks and shit. Oops, I just cursed. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I was kind of putting them together with a bunch of bunch of the, the arms together, make like a quadruped, and then I connected all the pieces together and I just oopsed into like I said a redesign and this is almost the same dimensions it's just slightly wider and it is one tile taller 
and it doesn't use the friction connection. It is all one solid piece minus the uh, the friction fit of the head, of course. That that stayed the same. Uh, but I just I love this. I got so excited when I did this. Um, so here you've got the the hips and the legs are made with this with the the light pieces there, and it friction fits into into that. And then up top you've got another T crossbar that sits in the stud. That's not, I mean, it is technically a friction fit, but that's a legal technique. They use that all the time in sets where it goes into the stud. It's a hollow stud there. Um, but over here, as you can see, I used an extra set of arms to connect the torso and the hips. And then I was like, okay, well, I've got this post sticking here, so I'm going to use the same thing I have here, just flip it over, and it sits in there. And, you know, these actually can fold and, and stuff, and you do different things. If you want to switch that out, you just pull that out, switch it out, instead of having to take the whole thing apart, really. Um, I had to flip this piece around in order to make it sit, because... I added the uh, the cylinder here. It, this is built the same way as this is, except I just added a cylinder here. I couldn't do it there because there's no clearance between the shoulders. But on this one, the the post here that the, that the neck would come off of, this post would have gone down into here have it sitting out here, which removed the necessity to have another one of these pieces over here to act as this post and have the head click onto that. Ah, as you can see, so I've got this clip here, which is then replaced by the piece that it's attached to. You put that up, and then you have the same head structure, exact same, with the addition of this because it kind of stuck up a bit and is a little a little lanky and narrow and I felt like you know I could put that on there kind of fill it out a little bit and I like the way that looks you have those there and so there is clearance there because it's not it's not touching there so I'm able to put that on this that piece on this back one you can see it, it goes all the way back and you've got that which is wider than the stud part because you know that's how the studs work. Um, I couldn't get that on there because there's not enough post to get into that hollow stud. So the only way I could put it on is if I have the post going through the hole there. And luckily, there is enough room. Uh, you got to put this on after you put the head on because otherwise your head won't go down all the way. It'll hit this... Uh, ridge here and won't go down but you just put it in there and bam it sits in there and it's it's so similar to the first design it, it functionally is the same robot but it's like an upgrade it's it's a mark ii if you will um kind of like with iron man all the i don't know how many redesigns he made like 60 or something i don't know but you go from this guy who has you know, basic, technically three pieces. You got the head, the torso, and the, and the legs to this guy, which is only two. He uses one less of those pieces and one more of those pieces. So it's, it's actually, oh yeah. And also I use the arms to connect the two T parts. So you got two extra arms, one extra cylinder, but you're down one of these clips so you're you're literally only two extra parts and the size is great i like how it really fills out it feels a little more robust because you get this this kind of 90 degree and there's nothing below this and it kind of juts out a lot and it's just sitting out there and don't get me wrong i still love this design but this adds you know extra angles and it fills out this gap and it's just it just looks really good. 
I'm, I was so excited. I ran up to my wife and was like, hey, look, look, look what I made. And it's so close to the original. I, I don't know. I was, I was geeking out about it. It was pretty good. Um, but yeah, you've got so many different uh, ways to customize these. Like each one of these parts can be completely different. You can have a big jumbled mess of colors. I kind of have this one here you know, tans and golds and blues and grays. It still works. Uh, then then over here, you have extra bits that you can customize the colors with. Like, I got this guy over here. He's uh, red, black, and white. And as you can see, it really brings in a little extra, you know, individuality to it. Because... You can switch all of these parts around and have all these different colors and they're the same thing, but they have their own character and I just, I really love these things. I, I've, I've got to get more different colors. I want to make so many more of these. I have, so I had like 20, I want to say like 21 of these made and then the night I redesigned it, I made uh, just as many <laughs> I don't. I didn't get to finish a couple of them. I ran out of arms, but I made exactly the same number of the new ones as I had the old ones. And I did that in like I don't know after I did that uh, redesign. I just slapped together like I think twenty one of them in like an hour. I was so excited about it, um, and and they're actually pretty pretty solid. You know, other than you know the head. They're all, the whole body is one piece. And so you can do stuff like, I use these guys for the thumbnail. You can, uh, you can have them do feats of uh, strength. You know, he's, he's lifting dumbbell. Uh, and acrobatics and stuff. Like, I mean, he's only supported by one hand. And uh, it's, it's fantastic. I love, I love these guys. I am so happy that I just randomly put them together um anyways I, i'm just gushing about these guys i i've i've got plans to make a heck of a lot more like like i don't even know how many there's so many different colors like what i use for the the eyes there, i've got so many of those it's ridiculous um but anyway uh i'm just gonna keep rambling if i don't end this up soon so um, oh, I don't have an, I don't have a name for these guys. I don't have a designation. So if and anybody got ideas, feel free to go ahead and comment them because, uh, any help would be appreciated. Um, anyways, uh, if you like the video, like it, comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you everybody. Goodbye.